Hey guys, long time no see. Today I'm back with a tutorial showing you how to get an ultra smooth glitter gradient manicure using gel. Glitter nails are usually my go-to for the holiday season, so in this video I'll show you how to use gel and loose glitter to get a long lasting salon quality mani. To get started, we'll be working on clean, groomed, bare nails. I like to give my nails a light buff to give the gel a texture to stick to, then I remove the residue with some alcohol on a cotton ball. Next, I'll be applying a bonder or dehydrator to further help the gel stick to my nails. After that, I'll finish the nail prep with a layer of base coat and cure that under my LED lamp. I do have a huge discount for this particular lamp I'm using, and I'll have that information in the description box if you're interested. Because we'll be using loose glitter, you'll want to put down a colored base first so that if there is any sparse areas of glitter, it won't be as noticeable as if it were your natural nail. I'm just applying the color gel as I usually would, but if you'd like a more in-depth explanation for gel application, I do have a couple videos for that and they'll be linked in the info card and in the description box. Now that we have our base color cured, it's time to prep the glitter. I'll be mixing the glitter into a clear no wipe top coat. First I'm applying a small dollop of that to a piece of foil and because I'm doing a gradient I'll be using two different colors of glitter. I'm taking my first glitter which will be the color I want towards the cuticle of my nail and I'm sprinkling some of that into the clear gel. You can play around with the gel to glitter ratio until you have a smooth consistency that you're comfortable working with. I'm also using a small square flat brush, which unfortunately is no longer available, but I'll link some similar ones for you below. So with a small amount of the glitter gel mixture on one side of my brush, I'm applying that around the cuticle of my nail and pulling the product halfway down my nail. Try to get that glitter matched up with the edge of the base color so that there's no line of where the glitter starts. I alternated between sweeping and patting the product to move the glitter around and try to even out the coverage. And because the glitter gel was so thick, it really won't move much, so I won't be curing it yet. But keep an eye on it, and if yours is a little more liquidy, you can always give it a flash cure to keep it in place until you're ready. I mixed up the second color the same way I did the first, but this time I'll be applying it to the bottom half of my nail. Instead of putting the bulk of the product directly on the center, I actually deposit it just below the middle so that I can cover the free edge and then sweep the excess glitter up. This will give a more seamless gradient. Again, I'm brushing and patting to spread the glitter and flatten it out so that there's no thick areas. Once you're happy with the first coat of glitter, go ahead and cure it. I cured mine according to the top coat's instructions. After that's set, we'll be going over the nails one more time with each glitter gel color. This time, I'm starting with the bottom color so that I can pull the orange glitter down over the middle seam last and have an even fade. Then cure your glitter gradient one more time and after that I'll be applying a full layer of the top coat just to protect the glitter if we need to buff it after. It should come out pretty smooth after that cures because we suspended the glitter and top coat but if it's a little uneven you can always just slightly buff the nail until it's smooth. And after that, I finished with a final layer of top coat to make the glitter extra sparkly, cured, and then nourished the skin with some cuticle oil. And there you have a salon quality glitter gradient with gel polish. If you give this a try, make sure to share a picture with me on my social medias. I'd love to see it. And if you'd like to watch more autumnal themed nail design videos, you can click on your screen here to check out my fall playlist.